Some of y'all may know me as Kylie Kells. Some of y'all may know me as Tay Let's Get Fit. Some of you guys may not know me at all. But this is the beginning. This is my journey. This is my weight loss journey. When I first started out, I was 265 pounds. 265 pounds. Constantly working, hitting the gym, hitting new heights, reaching new goals, hitting new weight. Doc said I had to slim down. You've got to lose weight, Khalid. Man, you cannot be this big. Your blood pressure's up. I was taking pre-workouts. I was taking protein shakes. I was constantly taking everything that I could to, to fill the the uh pump i was loving it i was enjoying it i was slimming down i was eating right six meals a day six meals a day then i was eating even less than that and then after a while like i see the results i saw the benefits i went from 265 to 263 from 263 to 253 to 243 and then to 233 it was an amazing experience of losing and constantly slimming down. Taking the pictures was the best way, the best way I could possibly see the results that I wanted to see. And it it honestly encouraged me. I was I was happy. I was happy and I kept wanting to go farther. Started a brand new business called uh, changing families moving company that was getting off the ground we were getting our names out there even then right here i'm creating my actual commercial for it and loving it like hey we just did a great work and everything's great and we're gonna move and and we'll move your stuff for whatever price we'll take care of you because you're family and in an instant you never know what's gonna happen but right when your day is great, when you feel at the most high, when everything is, is, is right there, it just can come crashing down. It can change in an instant. And you have to decide what you're going to do. Orthopedic visit now. <sighs> Working back up to where I was at before. Certain things can go to go to a standstill and then you know, you got to start from the beginning all over again. Chuck said I can't even I don't even know if you guys can see that. Can't even lift what 20 25 pounds, 20 pounds, man. It's ridiculous. Honestly, you gotta switch out on the workout game, take it slow, but I think this is about a two mile walk I'm gonna do now. Got my brace on, like, let's just try it, let's get ready. She said I can do some type of activity as far as walking, but I gotta take it slow. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, but, Gotta stay positive through all the adversity. You know what's crazy is when something really crazy happens to you, that's when you know who is truly there for you and who's truly not. I feel good though, you know? There's one thing um, I'm definitely learning though is, uh, you got to learn to love. Love everybody. Love life. Live life. Uh, don't waste your time hating or not forgiving people because at the end of the day, if somebody says, I, I hate you, you kill them with kindness. You can't be, you can't fight a battle and win a war by coming back with anger. It's not going to work. Like somebody says, oh, blah, blah, blah forget you, you know, but the other words, I love you too, you know what I mean, like, you gotta, you gotta let people know that it's not, it's not gonna stop you, can't let it stop you.
But at least, you know what I'm saying? At least if you do have beef with somebody, let it go. Let it go because you might not see that person ever again. Let it go. Don't hold on to grudges. I used to always hold on to grudges when I was a kid. And uh, I don't want to hold on to grudges no more. Life is definitely teaching me that uh, the older I get, the more I'm like, you say what's on your mind, you say how you feel, and uh, don't hold back. But you also let them know that you care about them, or if you don't really necessarily care about them, at least let them know that you don't wish them ill. I think that's what we forget. That's that's definitely what we forget right now. So, I mean, it's the beginning. My recovery. Uh, two and a half mile walk right now. Just off of, based off of doctor's orders. Got my procedure tomorrow, so I'm a little on the edge about it, but I'm okay. Uh, I just have faith that I'm going to get back to where I used to be. I slimmed down a lot. If y'all ain't noticed, I showed the picture on, in the beginning of this, but I was two, 253. 263 is where I started off. This is a year later, almost a year later from 263, and I am now officially 222.7. Check the scale. Love the results. Oh my, one meal a day. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna come back to you guys on like some of the things I've been learning over my time frame. I learned about herbs and about how it affects you, how it can uh, help you, how it can help you grow, help you build, burn fat, help you become muscular. You know, help you reach your goals, help you have more stamina. You know, so I'm definitely gonna hit y'all with that. Cause I got my little, you know, secret juice that I'm making now that's really helping me hit my goals. So right now my goal is from 222. The next thing I want to see on the scale is 216. Once I see 216, I mean, it only goes down from there pretty much. The ultimate goal is not about weight though. It's about body fat percentage. So uh, right now, Body fat percentage, 31%, right? But watch this. Give me a few weeks. I promise you, I'm going to hit that body fat percentage 20. Never been 20% body fat ever in my life. I've always been a big guy. Always been hefty. Never had a flat stomach. Um, so this is really like kind of a, a reach my goal place, you know? And um, I'm excited about it, man. I really am. So, you know, click that link. Click, click subscribe. Follow me at Tay Let's Get Fit Instagram. Um, definitely hit me at... Uh, we call this, what's called? Uh, hit me at, you know, Khalid Kells, the herbalist. Uh, I know I keep changing the name. P-L-Y Khalid, Khalid Kells, you know, the herbalist. But I'm done changing the name. Let's call me the herbalist. Uh, the herbal trainer, you know, because I'm I'm out here trying to teach you guys about old things that people forget about and don't use to their advantage. But if you use the old ways, you'll be surprised that Native Americans and everybody else was uh, Native Americans, Indians, other cultures. They were on a lot more and are still on a lot more things that we're not up on. It's more healthy. Y'all want to use your supplements? Go ahead. I ain't got no problem with that. But I'm going to use my herbs. And it's going to be just as good as your supplements. And it's going to be all natural. And it's going to be something that I know exactly the amount of things that I put into it. No proprietary blends or nothing like that. So, uh, stay tuned, man. I'm super excited about starting this new series off. About starting this new chapter in my life. So, uh, I'll definitely see y'all there. I'm excited. Uh, subscribe. This is my new channel. The Herbologist. The Herbal Trainer. Khalid Kells. Tay Let's Get Fit. You already know. I got a million and one names like Diddy. Alright?